Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 4 of our Cucumber with Selenium video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about running Selenium test with Cucumber and Maven. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 3 since this part is going to be a continuation of that particular part. Alright, so let's get started. Let's all help to save tree, water and energy to save our motherly planet Earth. Maven we have already converted our project to Maven structure on the first video of this particular series. Remember, in our section 1, we converted our project to Maven project by adding the framework and then the framework structure just changed, right? And we are going to make use of the framework structure right now to perform some kind of operations. Now it's time to execute the application out of IntelliJ IDE rather running it within the IDE. So, so far we have been running our test within IDE, right? We just right click the feature file and just run the test because we set the configuration of the IntelliJ to run the steps which is sitting in the steps folder. We just gave the glue there. So right now we're going if you're going to run the test out of IDE, something like Maven command line, then the test is not going to run. So right now we are going to do that. So we are going to do the following things. First we're going to download the Maven from the website and then we're going to set the home path for Maven so that you can execute that from the command prompt anywhere. And then we're going to run the Maven against the project we are building right now, which is nothing but the Cucumber basic. So what is the project change then? So because we're going to make some changes to run the test out of the IDE, then what are the changes that are going to be happening on the project side? Well, the change in the project is going to mainly happen in the pom.xml file. So we are going to add a plugin called Maven Compiler Plugin, which is going to be very, very helpful for compiling the application out from an IntelliJ IDE, something like command line, and cleaning the files or maybe just building it. So all those things is going to happen using this particular plugin. So Maven Compiler Plugin. And then we need to add what is called as a Maven Surefire plugin. So this Maven Surefire plugin is very, very helpful where you start running the test that we are building, which is nothing but our Cucumber test. So we need these two plugins dependencies. We need to add them in the pom.xml file. And what is Surefire plugin? As I already said, this Surefire plugin is used during the test phase of the build lifecycle to execute the unit test of an application. It generates reports in two different file formats. One is in plain text file and also in an XML file. So this is very, very good because many test reporting plugins basically uses this XML file to generate a pretty neat reports. So by default, these files are generated at the base directory target surefire reports. So this is where the report is going to be sitting. So the surefire plugin has only one goal, which is nothing but the Maven goal, which is surefire test goal. That's it. It just runs the unit test of an application. That's what I'm going to do right now. So let's become Maven then. So for that, I'm going to flip to IntelliJ. So this is the same project which we have been working so long. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the test using Maven, which is going to be running not from here. I'm not right going to right click here and I'm going to run the feature from IDE because if you remember from our previous section videos, what we did was we click this edit configuration. You can see that for the feature login, we set this glue as step, right? And we set the main class over here. And this is the feature file path, the login dot feature. But now when we try to run this test from the command prompt, it is not going to run anyways. So how to deal that? For that reason, we need to add two dependencies, right? So first thing we need to do is we need to add the two dependencies as we saw in the slide. So I'm going to go to the pom.xml file and here I'm going to add two plugins under the build tag. So I'm just going to add build tag and within that I'm going to add plugins and within this plugins there is something called as plugin and I'm going to add two plugins right now. So I'm going to go to Chrome. I'm going to search for Cucumber Maven Compiler Plugin and that is going to be available in the Maven repository. So I'm going to search, going to select that and I'm going to paste it over here. I'm just going to remove the dependency thing because it's going to be plugin. So you need to just add this as it is. 
and there is one more plugin which I'm gonna add so that's gonna be the surefire plugin so let's sh search for maven surefire so there is something called as maven surefire plugin and let's download 2.19 paste it over here so these are the two plugins which i require that's it these are the only two plugins which i require and then i need to add one more thing so now i'm not going to add that it's called as runner so i'm just going to leave it for now and let me try to run the maven from the command prompt and then i will tell you why the particular file is required right so now let me first download the maven i have already downloaded the maven and it is available in my machine the apache maven so the maven is available from the official site so you can just download maven download and you can see that there is a download url available so you can download the latest version of uh, maven from here i just downloaded this one 3.3.9 so you can see this is the version and all i'm going to do is i am going to just run from this particular folder right from here but instead of doing this i'm going to set the environment variable so i have already set the environment variable as well so if you can see here there is something called as maven underscore home right and this maven underscore home i have also set in here in the path maven underscore home slash bin right so either you can run from the bin folder or you can just create a home path. That's it. Maven underscore home. Right. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over here to this particular project folder. So let's open this particular folder over here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run in a command prompt. So right now, if I just write something like this, MVN clean so this mvn is the command for running in the maven so if you just type mvn and hit enter you can see that it is going to bring you all the commands for the maven so it's currently seeing that it's scanning the project and it says there's, there is no goal specified for this build so you have to specify the goal here so you can just specify the goal something like mvn clean so if you specify the clean you can see that the target folder will disappear. There we go. You can see that the target folder has disappeared, meaning the target folder is the actual compiled version of the files, right? So that particular file is disappeared right now once you've done the clean. And once you, if you want to just build it, so you can just say, I guess it's compile. So if you do MVN compile, so it's just going to compile your project and it has created the target folder. So now you can see that everything will be in the classes over here, right? So this is what it is. And then we need to run the test right now. So since we have the Surefire plugin out there in our pom.xml file, now if I just type MVN test and hit enter, you can see that it's just going to scan all those files that's it it's just searching for some test but it couldn't find anything basically there is no unit test that's what it says it's it says there's nothing in there to test it but actually we have something out there to run the test but it couldn't identify that so for that reason is what i said we need to create a runner file in here so we are going to do that and i will tell you why we are creating this runner file once again once we start writing the code basically we are running the test right now by just right clicking this particular feature run feature that's it it's just running but behind the scene it is actually calling a plugin for cucumber which is actually also running the cucumber j unit test so if you see our pom.xml file, we have added something called as Cucumber JUnit. So this library is actually responsible for running the test and IntelliJ is more intelligent enough to run that. And we have also added the JUnit in here. So these things we added before in our previous videos and we executed the test without any problem. 
But once it comes to the Maven, while you start working with the Jenkins or something like that, if you run like this, it is not going to work because only IDE has that particular information which Maven don't have. So you need to add what is called as a test runner file. So I'm just going to create a package without wasting any time. And let's call this as runner. And within this runner, I'm going to create a class and let's call this class as maybe test runner test runner class or maybe just test runner and this test runner has to be decorated with what is called as run with and this run with will actually requires a runner so we are going to run the cucumber dot class so this is the runner which I'm going to run and then we need one more attribute and what is called as cucumber options so this cucumber option is to tell that I need to run the features which is actually sitting under this particular folder basically it is sitting under the source and within source it is sitting under Java and within Java it is sitting under what is called as features right oh I'm sorry uh, source test java and features right now let me save this and if i try to run this test even from in here run test runner if i run this from the ide right now i'm not running from the feature file please just note that i'm just running from the test runner so right now if i run from this particular class file test runner it says that i need to implement these step definitions but we know that these step definitions has already been implemented in the login step but right now the test runner says that it is not implemented the reason is because we are missing one of the most key part which is called as glue glue by default takes the steps from the directory where the feature is actually sitting and it expects the steps to be available within that particular folder but since we have the steps sitting in a different folder we need to specify that as well right something like this steps and now if I try to run this test runner you can see that this time it is going to open the Firefox browser and it is going to run the test right now you got the whole idea right so this test runner is telling I need to run the cucumber test from this test runner that's very very straightforward way right so it is running right now without any problem once it is running out there now if I try to run the MVN test you can see that this time the surefire plugin will also run the test as you can see it is opening the Firefox browser and it is going to run the test so whatever you did in the IDE right now from just right clicking from the UI the same thing is happening from the command prompt as well so this is how you can run the test from Maven using JUnit and using this test runner which is available out of the box. So again, this run with is actually an attribute coming from org.junit.runner run with, right? So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.